and their shoes. Please take a moment to close your eyes and open up a buried imagination that lies within you. I want you to imagine laughter, a land so free you can hear the rich complexity of the language they speak. I want you to imagine the sounds of the cats meowing softly, the birds chirping from early dawn. I want you to imagine peace, prosperity, and safety at people so full of culture and history. The reality of it all is so toxic and harsh, it might be best to continue imagining the image above. There are only cries and screams of horror, bloody toys littering the floors, harsh, amplified sounds of missiles, guns, and hatred resonate sharply between every crack of the walls. Numbness courses through their malnourished yet resilient bodies, watching another loved one fall to the depths of injustice. Beaten to the ground, their beliefs in the color of their skin are justifications for their destruction. Gangs loitering around, setting their dreams and future aflame amidst the chaos. They escape from one hell to land in another. There is really no place for them to truly call home. These are no politics, no controversial topic for us to argue over. This is humanity, a crisis destabilizing the world. I ask you to open your eyes now. For a moment, a second would suffice. Would you place yourself in their shoes and see the world through the cracked and corrupt lens of mankind? You. You. Why is it that it is so easy for you to forget but never remember? I know, it's so hard sometimes to go out of your comfort zone to look beyond Taco Bell and Chipotle. It's difficult for you to realize the effects of hundreds of years of colonialism and internalized racism. It's unthinkable for you to deeply and truly realize that every action, movement, policy we make has severe effects on the hate and livelihood of our neighbors, brothers, and sisters across the globe. You say things simply and honorably, a pretense for your own self-centered agenda. What does it really mean when you say you want to help and give aid to others? Is it an open invitation for the rape, destruction, and imprisonment of their people's rights? Or is it an open invitation to steal and ruin a never-ending cycle of modern-day colonization? I invite you to listen and stop pretending. I invite you to think before you speak and act, and to possess an emotional intelligence that will transcend language, culture, and religion. I do not hate you, nor do they, but we plead for you to comprehend your actions and atone for the demolition that you've caused, because before it begins with them, it begins with you.